Okay. And so for this dissection of the upper circulatory, you want to start with the heart and start with the superior vena cava that you have found on that previous dissection. And right, let's get a little closer. All right. So um, that vena cava is going to be your guide today. And so you want to dissect a little bit further with the scalpel blade through those upper ribs and follow the blue. So follow the branching blue and it will eventually split into a big left and right but um, and you can see it going down the the right side of this cat. I'll just pull back a little bit and you want to follow it into the arms and then you also want to follow that branching blue in to up towards the the neck as well and then the since the the vein is more superficial than the arteries the vein is a good guide because if you dissect and are at the depth of the veins then you won't get rid of anything that uh, we need to keep. And so use that blue as a guide. All right. So now we're looking in here and you will find that some of those muscles that we previously learned in the neck are in your way in, in trying to track and follow these blood vessels. So, um, you, you will need to dissect away some of that, those upper, uh, or those, those muscles that cross across the neck because we want to get at these deeper blood vessels. Okay. And so here you can see how we're following the blue on this cat's right side. And um, you can see this place here is actually a part that's going up towards the neck. This is going to be external jugular. And you can see that there's blue that's kind of branching away from you a little bit there, kind of in the middle of that. That is a blood vessel to follow. You want to follow that along the arm and see where that branches. Okay, so lightly use your scalpel blade to, to follow the, the blue blood vessel. It's going into your cat's arm and uh, try to find further branches. All right, and um, so we've, we've gone down the, the right side of this cat, but we also want to follow the branching blue down the left side of this cat. And you want to still be careful of the internal mammary, the artery and vein there but you will also have to use some clippers most likely. And so we have these big clippers and that you can use to clip through the sternum and some of the shorter ribs in order to be able to follow the blue on the other side. You might have to do this on the right side or the left side, it depends on where the sternum is on your cat's, uh, on your, uh, maybe just about there, kind of to be able to uh, follow the branching blue through the, the tougher bones of the, the sternum and the rib cage. All right, and then once you have dissected and seen the veins, then another step is to dissect and follow the arteries. So the arteries are gonna be deeper than these veins, and so we wanna be able to follow and see the, the branching pattern with those arteries. Okay, there you go. Um, and so we want to be able to see the azygous vein. And to do that, we're going to have to push the lungs that are on the right side. We'll have to push them way over to your cat's left. And you want to dissect into this area to be able to see a large vein that's gonna be traveling behind the lungs here. And you will also see intercostal veins and arteries here. And then we will do a similar thing, but on the other side, let's do that. We'll just push the lungs all the way over to the right and then dissect behind there. And that's where you'll find the descending aorta.